Horses are on the track and parading postward this evening's fourth race. Tonight's fourth, a claiming pace, Stallions and Geldings racing one mile, purse of $1,800, five minutes to post time, no changes. Number one is Fantastic Olo by John Guthrie of Bloomington, Illinois. Bill Kingsland is the uh, trainer, Terry Groves driving. Number two, P.S. Cress, some of the Cress Farms of Miamisburg. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains with Brent Holland. The three bankers note, oh, then trained by Bill Carruthers of Kenton for Dave Miller. From post four comes Big Intention, owned by John Barchi of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Martha Wagers is the uh, trainer, Don Irvine Jr. The five around town, laced by Bob Perry of Franklin David Perry, the trainer with Mike Wilder. And the six Lightning Creek, owned by Jerry Nyberger of Buckeye Lake. Charlie Nuff is the trainer and uh, the driver. Win play show perfecta and uh, pick three wagering. Fourth race, claiming Estellians and Gildings, lining up, moving in. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off. And uh, from between horses, it's the five. Around town, sent first for the lead from off the pylons of the one fantastical. Further outside and three, Lightning Creek. Towards the inside, P.S. Cress gets away fourth. Dunking five, bankers note the trailer, sixth big intention. Midway to the first turn, and Wilder has the five around town on the top here by two. Inside, Fantastical is racing a second. Lightning Creek still parked to the outside, hoping for a seat third. Along the middle and fourth, P.S. Crest, the opening quarter, 29 and one fifth. Now in straight alignment as they move through the stretch, and it's around town finding his way through the stretch here. Fantastical is still two lengths back second. Lightning Creek now settles in third. Here comes P.S. Cress, first to move on the outside to fourth. Banker's Note takes the cover five. Big intention, now three lengths back, trailing sixth. Into the clubhouse turn, and it's around town. On the front end here around town, a three to one shot. Has led every stop, still leads by two, but P.S. Cress now closing quickly on the outside. Half in one minute, one fifth. Field begins to tighten up now as they move to the back stretch. And P.S. Crest showing some pace here on the outside, and moving up, matching strides with the leader, and marching right by P.S. Crest by a nose. And that guy, half a length in front. Inside racing a second. Banker's note to the outside, a big hold as they race into the final turn around town and around Tom coming back alive on the inside, retaking the lead now. Three quarters, 129 and one, and around town back on the front end. P.S. Cress is still there, a game a second. And to the outside, Banker's note will have to go three wide, and here he comes now with a burst of speed. Fantastico looking for racing room. Less than an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come, three of them across. Outside, Banker's Note will take the lead. Inside, racing a second, it's P.S. Cress. The battle now unfolding for show. Far outside, big intention, but it's Banker's Note at the wire. Finishing second, P.S. Cress. Looks like Fantastical got up between them for third. Time of the mile, 159 and two. Fourth race now official. Trackside, the wonder number three bankers note, a five-year-old son of Linda Tross from Freedom Gal by Freedom Fella. Oh, and trained by Bill Carruthers of Kenton, Dave Miller in the Sonky. First one of the season coming in from Raceway Park, Toledo. Time of the mile, 159, two fifths. Fourth race perfected, 3-2, $20.80. 